Have you seen some of these fancy whiteboard videos before and always wondered how it's done? I'm going to be going through my thoughts and review of one of the most popular tools to create these videos. I assure you that you're going to be surprised. So let's get going. I'm a big advocate of whiteboards in general. I find it extremely easy to explain complex concepts just by drawing it out. And it also makes it easy for somebody trying to learn to absorb the details. Naturally, I wanted to replicate this in some of my video tutorials I was making. If you did a Google search, Doodly often come up right at the top. So let's dive straight into it. All right, let's get started. The first thing I typically look at uh, with regards to any software that I'm planning to use, it's really the price. So checking out Doodly's price, this is the pricing page, let's scroll down. If I were to pay monthly, I would need to pay 49 US for the standard package or standard plan rather, and then 79 for the enterprise. So let's see what we get. Um, it seems pretty decent. 1,000 plus characters, 1,000 plus prop images, royalty music, templates, fonts. Yeah, it looks pretty okay. It checks out. Of course, as with most things, if you pay in an annual basis, you save 17%, a bit cheaper. But in the scale of things, if you ask me, it's quite pricey. If you compare this with the likes of Storyblocks or Epidemic Sound, uh, or all these other resources that content creators use to create content, $49 a month is actually quite a bit of price to pay. But nonetheless, um, I was willing to give it a try. If it works out, great. Otherwise, yeah, we'll decide otherwise. So let's get into the software. This is how the interface looks like. Um, I've actually obviously done the install. Um, to, to say the least, it was a little bit confusing because there is this element of Voomly Cloud. I take it as Voomly Cloud being the, the parent company, so to speak. Uh, so Doodly is a subsidiary software within the larger part of Voomly Cloud. Nonetheless, it was clunky, but not impossible. Um, so just be mindful of that. Essentially, it is not web-based. I would assume in this time and age, you would probably expect a web-based app. Again, not super picky with regards to this because um, you know having an app for the for the PC or Mac I mean it has its upside you can actually make content while on the go and not always be connected so you have the projects and you have templates and this is where some of the templates which I'll go into a little bit later so let's start a project and see how we go um, create new video so you can pick from whiteboard chalkboard glass boards uh, and the like so let's go with the typical whiteboard, give it a title. Let's call this test video one. You can pick resolutions here. Um, so yeah, no 4K, but I guess we'll stick with 1080p. All good. 2000 years later. Um, I attribute the slowness to the fact that these templates here, uh, which is stock standard, which comes with the plan this is by the way the standard membership as you can tell right at the top uh, they need to kind of load the preview thumbnails from the web so it's it's a bit odd in the sense that hey you know what you have a you know software that's installed on your pc but it's still pulling content from the web so the hence i said i would much prefer it being on the web but yeah let's go with it so as you can see there's a few things here i find this first section on the scenes uh, essentially like the name suggests, scenes like their schools, uh, beaches and whatnot. A little bit of an odd one, but we'll try it out nonetheless. And then you have characters. Okay, again, every time I scroll, it starts to pull down. Uh, props, props are essentially objects. And a bit of text, if you want music. And yeah, we'll touch on marketplace. We can buy more stuff. Okay, so let's start with the basics. So assuming I want to kind of do uh, a scene, in this case a living room, I just kind of drag and drop. So as you can see, uh, you can actually pick each and every one of these elements and and make things out of it. Uh, for example, I you can actually set how long it takes to draw. So on the right hand side here, you can see, hey, you know that the room in general takes about three seconds to draw. And uh, maybe this little cupboard here takes another three seconds. So if you can kind of think of it, it doesn't quite make a whole lot of sense. Can you imagine three seconds each of all these items just by drawing the living room? Yeah, it takes a while. 
Uh, of course, you can make it super quick. You can kind of drop this into one second if you want. Uh, so let's kind of see how it all kind of looks like. So obviously there's a timeline at the bottom as well. So if you go do, do show preview, let me see if I can get it there. You can actually preview how long it's going to take. So I've actually sped up the drawing of the ceiling, but you can see how three seconds doesn't quite make sense. Okay, I won't bore you with the entire thing. So yeah, I, I, I kind of find this feature a little bit useless but from a scene perspective. So again, yeah, I'll, I'm just going to delete this completely. And this is one of my pet peeves. You would assume that if I click on one of these things, I click delete on my keyboard, it deletes. It doesn't. The fact that it's actually on my PC, I don't understand why it doesn't do it. You have to actually go click the rubbish bin or the garbage can here to delete, which is stupid in many ways. But nonetheless, yeah, that's how it goes. So let's say I'll delete all these. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a quick way. I'm I'm almost certain that I'm probably not optimizing it. But from a first person's perspective, first time using it, it's certainly not very user friendly. I'll speed it up for you guys in post. All right, cool. I've got that all out of the way. So let's say I want to go look for something simple, right? Um, let's say boy. So it's a very simple term that I just put in a search for a boy character. And if you look at this, it's ridiculous. There's so many that it's actually locked out. And for all those you can see, um, limited by many ways. So let's just take this Brad being happy. I'm, I just don't understand why they classified it based on name. So unless you know the name of the character that you're kind of searching for, it's a bit of a pain in the butt if you just search boy because it's very limited. Okay. So if I want to kind of animate one of these boys uh, and I say, hey, you know what? I want to have a table maybe. 2000 years later there table size it down a little bit okay and um yeah maybe some text that's how you would do it okay it's not not completely difficult it's very rudimentary uh if you ask me uh for a tool that is you know you pay 60 bucks a month um it's very basic if you do a little bit more search, you realize there isn't a whole lot of stuff. Um, for me, I create a lot of tech videos. So for example, if I want to kind of have a cylinder to rep represent storage, I would assume there will be a few things that uh, resemble storage or variants of it. Uh, to be fair to them, they do actually have the cylinder, which is the database, um, which typically how we draw storage anyway, but this is so super formal. If I wanted something a little bit more, you know, cartoony like that, yeah, you don't have it. And I have no clue why this is considered storage. It looks like a old school iMac, but then again, yeah, I'll delete this. So it is what it is. So the, the funny thing here is that while you already pay 60 bucks, right? So if you say, for example, you want some of these locked characters. If you click on it, it prompts you, hey, you know what? You might want to consider upgrading the enterprise and it costs $79 a month. And you unlock all these so-called uh, other images and fonts and whatever you may be. Um, after paying $49, I'm not too sure if I want to consider paying $79, but you have an option though. So assuming you don't actually want to buy that, you can go click on marketplace and here you can find individual packages, so to speak. So assuming that you're in healthcare and you kind of want a couple of healthcare images, you can go view pack and you can buy each and every one of these for $27 each. So you can kind of tell if you actually do this on a regular basis, it actually can add up to quite a bit. You know what? I really wanted to love this tool, but unfortunately it falls crazily short on many aspects from the usability, and the functions, and not to mention the value, it is just not worth it. I guess I will stick to this sort of whiteboarding videos instead for now. This is much more time efficient, easier, and much more cost effective as well for me. 
Of course, I could do with better handwriting. But if you are keen for me to kind of walk you through how I create these whiteboard videos instead, hit me up on the comments and I'll put a video up. Hopefully this has been useful. And as always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.